What's up? What's up? Another episode. Getting that. I told y'all a shake a day. We keep the doctor away. What's up? Got another story to tell about another one of my uh, coaches, Coach Tom Fitzgerald, John H. Reagan High School. I got a little funny story. Well, it ain't really, it just, it just a small, it's a small story. That's something I was just reflecting back. Uh, how all like a lot of people been in influential in, in my life. Uh, I left, uh, left Gregory Lincoln. Came and went to Reagan. Left a couple of my, uh, you know, my my friends behind. I was a, a year ahead of them. Only me, Andre Devon, and John Jacobs. Boo, we went to we went to Reagan. It, Jesse, Jerome, Lucius, Sam, Roderick, everybody else was in uh still at Lincoln. Uh, got the, got the Reagan, started playing football, and uh, my ninth grade year, and um, and uh. I played the first game on freshman, then second game I got moved up to JV. The third game got moved up to uh to varsity. Well, I like really like the well, it was like the preseason, but I mean it was like the, the it not preseason, but you know, what well, it was in high school. So I remember they moved me up. So Co Coach Tom Fitzgerald, he came and talked to him and he was like, uh, I don't know if you uh might not get a chance to uh, play running back. I know that's that's what your position is, but I want I want to move you to safety. You think you can do it? And I was like, man, I just want to play, and uh, cause uh, Patrick Burks was uh playing running back, and uh, but I used to get in. We used to, uh we used to sub out every once in a while, but uh, when they had moved me up on varsity. You know, I was doing pretty good my ninth grade year, and I was playing safety, and uh, you know, coaches always on me told me I always uh, you know. You know, make sure you uh, keep your grades up and everything. Cause if you don't pass, you don't play. And I was like, damn. You know, so I was I was keeping my grades up. You know, I was uh, you know trying to keep up with the uh, upperclassmen and stuff like that. I was just a freshman, and uh, and I ain't have my my other homeboys there with me. You know, we we always traveled as a a, fly, a team. You know, it was just me, Boo, and Andre, and uh, and Boo and Andre was on on uh, on freshman in JV, and uh, but they had moved me up to varsity. And, uh, and I was like, and uh, I, was, I was up there with the, all the people that I didn't really know. I knew a couple of people from Fort Ward that was on the team, but I wasn't really like, that wasn't my clique. And so I kind of felt like I was outside a little bit, but I was trying to, you know, keep my keep my game going. And uh, I was trying to do everything, you know, the, uh, you know, to keep up with everybody else. But I, but the shit, back in them days in Fort Ward, we were struggling. And it was kind of poor. And I, I remember, like, uh, I had stopped catching the school bus. And I, I started catching the metro. I get up early in the morning so I can get to school. And, uh, <laughs> man, this is going to, it's, it's, it's it probably sound kind of bad, but I don't give, I don't care because, I mean, it was good. It was a good, story. it's a good story to me. You know, I was standing at Fourth Ward, you know, the houses were kind of, you know, they wasn't too good. And, uh. And for my my mom, she was uh trying to make sure that we had school clothes, to make sure I had school clothes for this year. You know, uh she didn't pay the gas bill. So she she didn't pay the gas bill. And so, you no, know, just try to, you know, get you know, to get get a nigga some get a boy some school clothes. That was my ninth grade year. I was going to high school. And you know, uh so she had got me some school clothes and everything like that. And um uh, well got me a couple of outfits, probably like one or two. But you know, uh but the gas wasn't on. And uh, and so my my oldest brother, he was like, "Shit, I ain't having this. We ain't finna be sitting right here without no gas. I ain't finna, I ain't, I ain't finna, uh, you know, do without no hot water and not without no stove to cook." And so my brother went downstairs and he he cut the meter back on, and he cut the meter back on. So about a couple of days, the people had came and uh, they cut the meter back off and they put a lock on it. So my my big brother Jimmy, <laughs> he said, "Forget that." So he went out there. And he cut the lock off and cut the meter back on. <laughs> the people came back about a day later. They took the whole meat off. And then my mom had to pay like a humongous, like a real big, uh, 
amount of money to get the uh, to get the gas cut back on, but she had to get the meter back. But the house was kind of old, so they wasn't really trying to you know, bring it back anyway. Cause my brother kept on cutting the gas back on. <laughs> Sorry, Junior. <laughs> hey, that's what you do when you're poor. Yeah, you, hey, you got to survive. And one thing my brother always did, he made sure that uh, he 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 tried. He might not did the right thing, but he always made sure he did the what he thought was right for the family. And so, so we didn't have, so my whole ninth grade year, you know, we can, we didn't have no gas, but it's always hot in Houston. So it didn't really matter anyway. So, you know, so, but I, you know, I, I wanted to be at least with my one or two outfits. I wanted to be fresh my ninth grade year. Cause I was, I got moved up to varsity and I was like, man, you know, I, I had to keep myself up. So I was like, uh, so I would miss the school bus, but I'd get up early in the morning, like five o'clock and I catch the Metro. You no, know, to go to, to go to school, and then I, I would jump the gate when I get the regular over there by the gym, and I would go over there and and, and just sit on the uh, on the bench, and wait on the coaches to get there so they could open up the locker room. So I go in the locker room, and uh, <laughs> and like wash my clothes, take a shower, get fresh for for the day of school, and then that was it, you know, because I asked for COVID jet. Hey, what time y'all get here in the morning? And he was like, no, we get get it by like six or five or something like that, five thirty or something like that. So I would try to get there before the coaches get there and just like hide over there. When they open the locker room up, I go in the locker room, you know, uh wash my clothes, you know, because I know I used to wash all the uniforms. They had uh washing uh laundry uh had uh washing machines inside of the uh things. So I go in there and take me a shower. Should I be fresh for that day of school? And uh so one day uh I had got up early. And I caught the, I got the bus, got on the bus, the metro, the the city bus and whatever, and went to school. But I got there kind of early. And so I had jumped the gate and I went over there on the bench and I had fell asleep. And COVID Jer came around the corner and he seen me. He was like, Willie, what you doing here this early in the morning? And uh I was like, oh no, I was just uh no, nah, I, I just got here kind of early. And he seen I had my bag and stuff with me. And uh he was like, uh Okay, yeah, and he was he was just looking at me, and then he uh, he just opened the locker room up, and I wait till he went back to the office, and I I went in there and you know did my little routine, took my shower and uh, washed my clothes and stuff like that, you know, get ready for the day of school. And I, I think I heard the door open, but I think he must came in there and he seen he seen what I was doing or whatever, and so uh, and so like every morning, like I I would know like I get there, but you know at a certain time. But I think they only get there to, they don't get, uh, the coaches don't get there to like, well, Kobe Jerry, he's the head coach. He don't get there to probably like around about six. But I would try to get there like about five, something, you know, to, you know a little bit before. And then, uh, but I had to wait outside until they come open up. But so I think, Kobe, well, Kobe Jerry, he knew what I was doing. He knew what I was doing. He knew I would get there early. So Kobe Jerry started coming early, early in the morning. And then he'll, he'll go in there and he'll open the, uh, open the locker room up for me. And uh, you know, so I can go in there and take my shower, wash my clothes and stuff like that. And uh, and uh, and then and then one day I came. Uh, I think I think it was like but a uh, Thursday or something. I looked a day for a game, and then I I came in, and I, I was looking, you know, uh, make sure wasn't nobody over there. So I jumped the gate, went over there by the uh, went over there by the thing. And so I went in by my locker, and I I seen on the chair, it was some breakfast. It, it was some breakfast on 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 the uh, on the chair on on my you know in front of my locker. It was on, on the chair with some breakfast on the chair. And I was like, I just looked around. Okay. I, I figured it was for me because it was on my chair. And then I uh, went on, took my shower, did my little daily routine, washed my clothes and stuff like that. And uh, and like for like, I ain't gonna lie, for like about a month straight, like every other day, I come in the locker room. You know, the locker room would already be open. No, Richard, he made it a point. Well, what I'm saying is he made it a point to come early in the morning. And sometime it'd be breakfast on my chair in the morning. And I was, I was want to, I, I knew what you was doing, COVID Gerald. And uh, I just want to say thank you for, uh, for being there for me. You know, when, I, when I was young, the picture, I was in ninth grade. I got moved up to varsity and I, you know, all my whole little crew, all my friends and stuff was still, still in middle school. You no, know, uh, cause they was a year behind. And all I had was a uh, boo and a, uh, and Andre Devon, all, all that's that's all I had at the school, and all the rest of the crew was at you know was at uh at, in middle school at Lincoln still. But uh, I just want to say, Coach Jr., thank you for looking at me, looking out for me every morning, coming up and up the locker room. <laughs> Sometime you know, like like about three four months, every like, every other day, 
uh, it'd be some breakfast on the chair waiting on me. So I hope I ain't getting you in no trouble because I know you ain't supposed to be give, well, <laughs> giving us, buying us food every morning. So Miss Fitzgerald, if you was if you wondering why COVID Jerry was getting up early, early in the morning and coming up to, to the school, he was coming to early to the school to help me out, open up the locker room and bring me some breakfast in the morning. I just want to say thank you, Coach. Coach Tom Fitzgerald, thank you for doing that for me.